Despite being the youngest attendants, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis had important missions at King Charles's coronation. To amaze royal fans with their devotion, to charm viewers and to make silly faces, George, the eldest of Prince William and Princess Catherine's kids, had his first official role at the royal event. The nine-year-old prince was one of King Charles's four pages of honour. He arrived at Westminster Abbey in the traditional uniform, a scarlet tunic decorated with gold lace trim and blue velvet cuffs. Needless to say, he looked very dapper. George carried the king's coronation robe as Charles made his way down to the altar. It wasn't an easy job. The robe of state was almost 15 feet long and weighed a lot, but Prince George took his role very seriously and stood behind the king for the whole church service. The amount of attention on him seemed to make him quite nervous. But despite everything, he did a brilliant job. George remained serious even after his main mission was complete. Take a look at that stern face during the procession. The prince also handled the situation on the Buckingham Palace balcony like a pro. He lined up the pages of honour and checked on his younger brother, Prince Louis. Royal fans have already labelled him a future monarch in training. George's younger sister Charlotte was also on duty on the special day. She took on the role of watchful big sister. The eight-year-old princess held the hand of her younger brother, Prince Louis, when the family was entering Westminster Abbey, and Charlotte cheered Louis up when he didn't seem too thrilled to be there. But Charlotte got everyone's attention for more than just her maturity. She showed up at Westminster Abbey in an outfit that matched her mother's. Both princesses wore white gowns by Alexander McQueen, embroidered with flowers. The finishing touch to their outfits were matching silver headpieces with sparkling crystal leaves. The sweetest mother-daughter moment of the ceremony, when they exchanged cute smiles in the church. A lot of people were quick to compare the traits of the two princesses, naming Charlotte Catherine's mini-me, but not everyone shares that opinion. A lot of fans think she resembles her late grandmother, Princess Diana. In any case, the little girl has great examples to follow. During the church service, Charlotte sat next to Prince Louis. Her relationship with her younger sibling was also noteworthy. For the most part, they looked very interested in the pomp and circumstance surrounding their grandpa and made charming small talk. At important moments, though, the young royals did their best to pay tribute to the king. For their parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales, it was a moment of great pride. Still, the coronation lasted more than an hour, and for five-year-old Louis, it seemed to be an exhausting process. At times, he was yawning, spinning around or inspecting the interior of the abbey. At one point, Prince Louis reminded fans of another royal from a previous coronation, King Charles III himself. When his mother Elizabeth II inherited the crown, he was only four years old. Back then, Charles totally stole the attention by hiding under his mother's coronation robe and running around. He also made silly faces on camera. Now we know where Louis gets it from. During the parade, he entertained the public even more. The cameras captured a wide range of emotions, smiling, bored and astonished. Traditionally, Louis showed new styles of waving to the Brits. The coronation wouldn't be complete without greeting the crowd from the Buckingham Palace balcony. Fans of the royal family were just as excited for Louis's appearance as they were for the king and queen. This boy is famous for his scenes on a balcony and he didn't disappoint. The little prince couldn't hide his emotions during the fly-past by the Royal Air Force. Then he added a short dance to his waving. At some point, Louis realised the waving part was over. Still, he managed to hold everyone's attention right to the end. His sister, Charlotte, on the other hand, impressed the crowd with her sweetness. She was waving and smiling slightly, just like Royal Protocol says. Even though the three children of the heir to the throne were interacting so differently, they shared an important message. George, Louis and Charlotte wore outfits in the colours of the British flag, and that represents the unity of the siblings, of the royal family and of the whole monarchy. Let us know in the comments what your favourite moment from the coronation ceremony was, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more royal news.